two young undefeated Filipino boxers are slated to get cracks at World Boxing Council's championships as Raymond Gambola 24-0 20 KOs and Mark Masaya 23-0 16 KOs are now mandatory challengers to bantamweight champion Nonito Donaire 41-6-27 KOs and featherweight king Gary Russell Jr. 31-1-18 KOs as announced through Twitter Tuesday. Gambola currently holds the interim WBC bantamweight title which he picked up with a controversial split decision against Emmanuel Rodriguez in December 2020. In that match, two judges scored 115-113 and 116-112 for Gambola, while the third judge had it as a lopsided 118-110 for Rodriguez. Fighting the Filipino Donaire would be a huge step up for Gambola, the 25-year-old from Sanama Promotions. The biggest win of his career thus far was in 2018 when he defeated undefeated Stephen Young for the Interim World Boxing Association Bantamweight title. Everything you fought taught me from day one. How old you, man? Everything working, man. Everything working. Good. Be careful. I got you. Okay. Thank you. All right, baby. Jeff Mayweather wants Manny Pacquiao to stop crying about his loss to Floyd Mayweather Jr. from 2015 and forget about getting a second chance to fight him. Jeff says Pacquiao had his opportunity to fight Mayweather and he lost, so it's over with. There is no reason for the 44-year-old Mayweather to come out of his four-year retirement to fight Pacquiao as he's already making massive money fighting ex exhibition matches against YouTubers. According to Jeff, in Mayweather's last exhibition against YouTuber Logan Paul, he made $60 million. The crying Pacquiao and Canelo Alvarez are both doing about their loss to Floyd Mayweather who wants to see them their defeats and move on. Jeff says Pacquiao can't make Mayweather fight him again so he should give up on the idea and enjoy the remainder of his career. Pacquiao has his own self to blame for his loss to Mayweather. Interesting. I mean, what can I say? <clears throat> Listen, I, uh, when you compare the the careers of Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather, I think they're going to be two things that stand out. One for Pacquiao and then one for Mayweather. I think the one thing that's always going to stand out for Floyd Mayweather is, well, he never lost. So people are always going to say he's the better of the two fighters because he never lost. I think the one thing is that's always going to stand out about Pacquiao is that he was fan-friendly his whole career. And what I mean by fan-friendly is a lot of things, really. And I think that's what encompasses a boxer, an all-around boxer an all around greatest of all time um you have to be fan friendly and what i mean by fan friendly is you have to be a appealing to watch you have to have a charismatic uh personality you have to be super athletic and you have to do something that wows the people nobody else is doing <clears throat> and I think Manny Pacquiao encompasses all of those things. I think Manny Pacquiao, he he's extremely entertaining. I think he his personality is one of a kind. It's like Ali, but greater, if you ask me, uh, because of what he's done 
he was able to accomplish for his people, I think he's he's surpassed even what Ali was able to do. I, I think he's extremely athletic, and I think his ability to not to to knock out bigger guys, you know, massively destroy uh, bigger fighters uh, throughout his career has been the one thing that he's done that Floyd Floyd Mayweather couldn't do, you know. Not only could Floyd Mayweather not go through eight divisions in the sport of boxing, but he couldn't have defeated the Margaritos, the Kodos, you know, the uh, Keith Thurmans, uh, the Brandon Rioses of the world in the same fashion that Manny Pacquiao did. You know, the Oscar De La Hoya, ending, ending Oscar De La Hoya's boxing career. So I think when the record books are actually opened and people start comparing the career of Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather, yes, a lot of people off top are going to say Mayweather's better because he never lost. But I think once you start digging through the record books, you start looking at old fights, you start uh, looking at resumes, you're going to see one glaring image, and that's Manny Pacquiao. You're going to see that Manny Pacquiao not only was the more exciting of the two fighters, he was very watchable. It's hard to watch a Mayweather fight. You know, it's hard to sit down and watch multiple Mayweather fights in a row, but it's very easy to watch a bunch of Manny Pacquiao fights. You know, binge watching Pacquiao fights is very easy to do, and I think that's going to be a standout point when people start looking through the record books. Who can you actually sit down and enjoy watching? And I think that's what's really going to stand out uh, for for these two fighters. What do you guys think about that? Is Jeff Mayweather right? Should Manny Pacquiao stop crying about the loss and move on? Does Floyd owe him a rematch? Uh, would you like to see the rematch? I definitely would. I think it would be uh, ultra entertaining to see what Mayweather still has left in the tank. And if Pacquiao can avenge himself in a loss, you know, Pacquiao's the end of Pacquiao's career will take a hit because of what happened with the you guys fight. If he doesn't fight again, but hopefully we get one more. Let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section. Hit the like button for me. Please subscribe. Tell a friend. Share. It's your boy Cardinal Red, and we are out of here. Hey, look, I ain't shorty. I ain't gonna do your thing. Do your thing. Uh, 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 uh. The party just started. I ain't even had a drink yet.